Hello, namaste. Welcome back to my living room yoga session. Uh, today we're going to do restorative yoga because we all need it. And it is one of my favorite classes to teach. Uh, wouldn't be complete without the harmonium. Also, I have gathered an array of props from around my house. Uh, also, uh, you may have wine, right? We're at home. And anyway, so if you don't have an eye pillow, like so, you can use one of your boyfriend's extra long soccer socks. Also, you know, can be used to cover your eyes. Let's get creative here, people. Uh, pillows, little throw pillows that you might have on your couch that you can use for uh, props. So underneath the knees, uh, maybe a flatter pillow for underneath your head. Even, obviously, if you have yoga blocks, right, bring those in. Uh, a strap, if you have them. If you know me, I love to use the strap for restorative. If not, a belt also, your boyfriend's belt. You know, just make use of what you got here. Um, if you are so lucky to have sandbags, which I can barely even lift up, thank you, Katie Brown. Uh, those will really come in handy here. Maybe cornhole uh, bean bags that you may use in the summer, bring them in. Uh, if you don't have bolsters, maybe some rolls of toilet paper. I mean not toilet paper, paper towels. Uh, Lord knows we cannot, we cannot afford to use that toilet paper. Anyways, paper towel rolls, you know, underneath the knees, maybe, um, you know, we can get creative with that. So use what you can. If you have a blanket, great. Get your blanket out. If not, uh, you can also roll your mat up to use as a bolster. So as we go along, uh, just do what you can. Make the most of it. And most importantly, relax. Right? Restorative yoga is supposed to rejuvenate you. It's calming. It's nurturing. Uh, there's no, we're not, you know, striving for some end result. We're literally just being in our bodies and just allowing the shape that we put our bodies in, let that do the work. All right, so let's begin our class with the sound of three ohms. If I can remember how to play my harmonium today. Um, so everyone come to a tall spine, close your eyes and sit tall. Begin our first pose. We'll come into a variation of Shavasana, and I like to call it Pinnacle Pose. So remove all of your stuff away from you. Resist the urge for a head under the blanket, and just see that the fingers and the toes are free from any of your stuff. Uh, this pose, we want to just allow the body to rest on the ground without being disrupted from all these things that surround us all day long. So go ahead and get yourself situated and we'll begin. So take the legs, come to lay all the way down on your mat. Take the legs uh, wider than the mat so that the feet come all the way onto the floor, right? Let the feet flop out away from each other. And then instead today, let's bring the arms up above you. Take them out wide like the shape of a Y. Right? You take up a lot of space on the floor here, kind of like you're hogging up the bed. Right? We're all really good at that. And then close your eyes. Allow the body to begin the process of letting go.
begin to focus on the natural breath. Try to resist the urge to change anything, but just to become witness to the body. Noticing as we breathe in naturally how the breath moves us. With an intention of gratitude for the ability to breathe to be here in our bodies and to feel something so simple as the breath, something that we take for granted. how still you can stay as you begin to feel the body get a little heavier. And giving in to gravity. And letting everything melt into the floor. All outside distraction dissolve. attention to the breath, stay focused on just that. We'll be here a few more moments. Stay as still as you can.
Stay here and take five full breaths, just noticing the change of perspective as you add the breath back in. Giant breath out. And really, really slowly begin to bend the knees. Plant your feet on the mat. Feet are mat distance apart. Let the knees collapse in towards each other, releasing any tension in the low back. Slowly bring the palms to rest on your belly. Soften the shoulders. Relax your face. Pause here for a moment. Take a big belly breath in. Exhale, let it go. For our next pose, we'll do a supine twist. We'll do a little bit more of a restorative version. So the feet stay as wide as the mat. And let both knees fall to the right side of the room. You may place a block or one of your pillows underneath each knee, right? Feet stay wide, but the block or the uh, pillow supports the knee. Okay. And then you lie back down. You may keep your left hand or the right hand on the belly. Okay. Right hand on the belly, left arm up above you in a diamond shape. Put a deep bend in that left elbow so that the whole bicep and both shoulders are equally melting into the floor. And then close the eyes and bring your attention back to the natural breath, allowing everything to melt into the pose. And nowhere to be but right here giving some time and energy that you have given away to everyone else back to yourself. This practice of restorative yoga is imperative to counteract our everyday lives, running from one thing to the next, never fully present. Give yourself and your body this time to be fully present. Really knowing that your body deserves this attention. your mind begins to wander, bring your attention back to the breath, pulling you right back in to the moment, in this space 
in this body, in this practice. Stay here and take a few more full breaths, just noticing how it affects the pose and the way in which you react when you add the breath in. Good, try one more big breath in. Giant breath out. Really mindfully switch sides. Slow, slow, slow. Knees towards the ceiling. Readjust your props. Take your bolsters or your pillows to the other side. Knees fall to the left. You may also grab your eye sap or your sock. Place it over your eyes. Find your placements. Get all your adjustments and your fidgets out at the beginning so that you can stay. Remember, maybe left hand on the belly, right arm up above you. Deep bend in that right elbow so that the whole bicep and especially the right shoulder can really relax. And once you find your pose, come back to stillness. Begin to focus back on the natural breath. And so noticing the difference between your two sides. Right? If you have any knee pain, may bring the knees together, but try to take this new perspective on this pose by keeping the feet wide and the knees apart. A really gentle twist for the spine. Let 
the breath wash over you like a calming wave. Allowing this practice to nurture your whole body and mind. best to keep your eyes closed throughout this practice. Notice if your dog walks by, someone is moving around in the other room. You use that. You use that distraction to pull you in deeper, to keep you super in tune and focused. Becoming a witness to all out outside distractions, maintaining your attention within. how still you can stay a few more moments in this pose embracing the time that we have here and staying present Take five more breaths in your supine twist. Try one more deep breath in. Mindfully bring the knees towards the ceiling. Tug the knees in towards the chest. Rest the arms alongside the body. Draw a circle on the ceiling with the knees together. Try to resist the urge of your hand. You may keep your circle small. You may draw it a little bit bigger. And then draw your circle the other direction. Come to 
stillness. Tug the knees a little closer. Tuck your forehead to meet your knees. And then roll to one side. Rest your head on your bicep. Pause here for a moment. Just to notice the difference in how you feel already. Take one big breath in on your side. Exhale and melt into the floor. One more, breathe in and breathe out. And really slowly press yourself up. Coming into our next pose, maybe a sip of wine before. Our next pose, child's pose. So if you have a blanket, take the blanket, it's a small roll in the blanket to support the ankles, right? You may even put this all the way to the backs of your knees, okay? To support the ankles, um, take the knees a little wider, as wide as the mat, grab your pillows, your bolster, right? Stack your blankets or your pillows up, whatever you have, so a long shape here to rest the belly on, okay? pillow and then and we'll turn the head to one side right come to stillness try to resist the urge to make any movements aka don't watch me mm -hmm. Allow the body to let go and really melt into your props. Maintaining your attention back on the breath. Allowing each breath to be a new experience in the body. Seeing how still you can remain as the body begins to really sink deeper into the pose. your head is turned to one side, you may turn it to the other side. Be mindful, try to keep the eyes closed and stay as still as you can.
still in your child's pose. A few more moments to embrace this pose. A pose that we often move through so quickly, right? A pose that is used often as a transition. We're really enjoying the time that we are spending, a time to really sink in, allowing the benefits of this pose, right? So many health benefits to all of our yoga poses. Not only can even begin at eight breaths, eight to 10 breaths in is when the benefits begin. And most of the time we are only using these poses as a transition. Stay here and take five full breaths. Noticing how it changes the pose. Mindfully begin to remove your props. Come back into your child's pose just to notice the difference without anything underneath you. Notice how good the ground feels. Take a full breath in, exhale, giant breath out. One more here, breathe in and breathe out. And then inhale and slowly come up. For our next pose, we'll do a restorative version of bridge pose, one of my favorites. If you don't have a block, okay, uh, you may use a blanket, equally great. Right? So if you have a blanket, try to fold it up into a pretty tight, small little square. Right? Pretend it's your, um, your block. Listen, or you can use one of your throw pillows. Okay? Try to resist the urge to have a pillow under the head for this one, keeping the natural curve in the neck. Right? So come all the way onto your back. Right? all the way onto the back. Right, I'm gonna use my block because I have one. Right, again, if you don't, equally as beneficial, use the blanket. 
right? Your makeshift bolster. Maybe for this one, you grab your eye sack or your sock, okay? So come all the way onto your back. The knees are bent. Plant your feet on the mat, knees towards the ceiling. Lift your butt up and then place your block underneath, right? And we'll be here for a while, so you may even put it to an even lower setting. Right. Grab your eye sack or your sock and place it over your eyes. Let the arms splay out away from you. Actually, better yet, come out of it really quickly. Grab your belt or your strap. Okay. Put both legs in the belt. Right? So it's tight, it's buckled. The belt comes right above the knee, right? So now lay back down, lift the butt, place the block, right? and then so much better, grab your eye sack, then we'll lie here, right? Arms alongside the body, palms face up. Allow your body to melt back into the floor, nowhere to be but here, present, giving back to our body. This practice of restorative yoga not only boosts the immune system, right, but it will rejuvenate you, it will give you more energy. It also increases the flexibility in the body and feeds your breath to your organs. Let everything melt. Try to resist the urge to hold anything up. Feel the body scan. Notice where you can soften even more. Giving yourself permission to relax. Permission to do nothing. And know that it is okay. And Krishna Das says the ultimate act of kindness is to surrender. To surrender to what is. To just be. Without judgment. Without labeling it good versus bad. Or right versus wrong. So just to notice. To become witness. To the experiences. That we go through. the jaw, you may press the tongue to the roof of the mouth, relax your face, shoulders are soft.
breathing with the breath, not allowing yourself to get attached to any thoughts that may arise. We come in, we notice them, we breathe them away. how still you may remain as we lie here a little bit longer. The longer we stay, the bigger the transformation and the deeper the shift in our perspective where the real magic of yoga can take place. And the patience, and the stillness. Let's try five full breaths here together before we move on to our last pose. Two more big belly breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. One more deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. Slowly begin to come out of the pose. Lift the hips, really slowly lower your butt back to the mat. Grab your strap or your belt, move it from the legs. Hug the knees into the chest, come all the way up to sit. Our last pose, we will do legs up the wall. Another one of my favorites. I feel like I said that for every pose. I love restorative yoga. Um, all you will need is your belt or your real strap. Uh, maybe your eye patch. Not your eye patch, your eye sack. You know what I mean? And then also a pillow for your head. Okay. So if you cannot, if you don't have wall space, you can do this right in the middle of the room. Again, maybe put a block or your rolled up blanket underneath your butt and we'll take the legs straight up. If you have the luxury of using a wall, move to the wall. Okay. Hardest part is getting your butt close to the wall, as we all know. Right? Take the strap, 
put both legs through, okay? Come all the way up to the wall, get your pillow ready, legs go straight up, and then the strap will come around the calves, okay? Calves around the calves, got that blanket underneath your head, and then we'll stay here. Close the eyes, allow the whole body to let go. Arms may rest alongside you or bring them up above you. Grab your eye sack, place it over the eyes, come to stillness. Take a full breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Give yourself permission to soak all of this up all of your effort, all of the intention put behind this practice, this time that you are giving back to yourself. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing some awareness back to your body. Really mindfully bend your knees and slide your feet down the wall. Knees together as you roll to your favorite side. Rest your head on your bicep and pause. Pause to notice this feeling that you have cultivated within you. This feeling of peace, this 
sense of ease by being present, by being patient, and by most of all, getting back to your body. Really slowly press yourself up seated. Releasing me. Find a tall spine. And close your eyes. We'll seal our practice and our intention to be together inside of our living rooms with the sound of three ohms from home. Three ohms. Exhale out all of your air. Breathe in and sit tall. that is within me is within all of you. Namaste. Thank you for following along. Um, if you made a mess in your living room, then you did it right. <laughs> uh, we always make a big mess when we do restorative yoga. So thank you. And I will post the playlist to go along with this on my Spotify. It is called Restorative May. Thank you. Cheers, friends. I miss you.